Yo, what's up everybody? Mood616 here, back with another entry in my DVD collection overview. Uh, this is going to be shelf number 6. Alright, so we all know how long these take, so let's get right into them. Uh, first up is Full Moon's Head of the Family. Uh, this, is a re <laughs> this is a fun film. I mean, if you're a fan of Full Moon, this is you know exactly what you're getting yourself into if you've never seen this one. So, I do highly recommend Head of the Family. It's fun. Uh, he Knows You're Alone. This is like an early slashy film. I believe this has like uh, Tom Hanks. Really, you know, a really, yeah, a really young Tom Hanks in the film there. One of his first appearances, I believe. Uh, it's actually not a bad film, I gotta say. Highly underrated. Never really hear anyone talk about that one. Um, Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. Um, you know, classic film. Don't really need to say anything about this one. I think it's a great film. Um, I've recently picked up Henry Part 2. I've yet to watch it, though. It's just not in this collection. Or it's not on the shelf yet. Um, Hellbent. This is like a... This is like an all... Or kind of like a gay slasher film. Uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect from this one, and it turns out it's actually pretty good. <clears throat> I gotta say, like, I actually kind of enjoyed this one. It's got pretty good kills and good story. Uh, it takes place on Halloween. Very cool. Uh, Hell Breeder. Uh, this is like a killer clown film. Uh, just done very poorly. I was not a big fan of this one. Um, you know, I was on this killer clown kick for a while, and this one kind of, I came across, and yeah, I, I don't recommend it. It wasn't that great. Uh, Hell Driver, this is actually pretty fun. Um, I think I've heard some mixed reviews on this one, but I thought it was actually pretty cool. Uh, Japanese, you know, kind of fucking batshit, oh, sorry, batshit crazy shit. Uh, next up is Linda Blair's Hell Knights. Um, very cool slasher film from 81. Uh, I don't know. I'm a big fan of this movie, but it seems like this one's kind of hit and miss with people. But, um, I don't know. It's okay. Uh, the original Hellraiser, once again, a film I don't really need to talk about. Um, very, very awesome film. Uh, Hellraiser 2, in my opinion, is a little better than the first one, but uh, nothing to take away from the first one. They're both awesome films. Uh, Hellraiser 3, um... You know, I actually really enjoy this film. I like the uh, I like the rave slaughter in this film. It's not too bad. And then we get into Bloodline Hellraiser 4, which is actually watchable. Um, I don't mind this film. Storyline's okay. It's still not top-notch, but it's, it's decent. And then we get into Inferno, which is part 5. Um, you know, it's not really that great. Part 6, Hellseeker. This is when they really started going downhill, like like hardcore downhill um most of these films were actually produced from scripts that weren't even like written to be hellraiser films and they're just trying to keep this franchise going on then you get debtor which is <laughs> pretty laughable uh hell world is actually just awful you know this movie is just terrible um i think fucking i think pinhead is in this movie for maybe like two minutes or something it, it, his um, screen time is pretty pretty mild and Revelation of course does not even have Doug Bradley in it and yeah whatever uh, next up is Hell's Ground this is the first Pakistani splatter film not the very first Pakistani uh, horror film but the first um, fucking uh, splatter film yeah I did do a review on this that review is no longer on YouTube because it was taken down um, because it was on the fright tube but I actually still have the review, <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, so I can't recommend, or I can't tell you to go watch that review, but I highly enjoyed this. I thought it was, I didn't really know what to expect from it, and it turned out to be way, way better than I ever thought it was going to be. It was very fun. Very cool kills in it, too. Uh, Hidden, this is part of the After Dark Horror Fest Part 4. Um, I did review this, actually, when I reviewed the whole horror fest 4 uh, series um so you can go through the videos and check that out it's okay next up is another full moon video art movie called hideous um hideous is a very very fun full moon film can't uh you know can't say anything bad about that one i like that movie hide and go shriek uh this is a i believe this is australian um no, I, this is an Australian release. Now, this one right here has its problems. You know, honestly, the ending makes no fucking sense in this movie. I do like the setting of it. It's a pretty decent slasher until the ending. Oh, the ending ruined this one big time. Uh, High Lane. This is a French slasher film. Fucking awesome. I highly recommend High Lane if you've never seen that one. I really enjoyed that. Uh, another French film called High Tension. 
Uh, most people have heard of this one and or seen this film. Uh, I enjoy it. The Hills Run Red, we recently talked about this on The Burial Grounds, and uh, I think this is a really cool slasher film. Um, the ending could have used a little work in my opinion, but uh, overall, you know, it's very enjoyable. It's a quick watch. Uh, you know what? I have The Hills Have Eyes Part 1. It's actually sitting uh, out on my table, so we'll skip that. Hills Have Eyes, Hills Have Eyes Part 2. Um, yeah, The Hills Have Eyes Part 2 is a mess. Now, Wes Craven never wanted to make that film, so whatever. But Paycheck is a paycheck, and yeah, so Hills Have Eyes Part 1 and 2. Uh, Hills Have Eyes Remake, very enjoyable remake. Uh, part 2, I know a lot of people kind of shit on this one, I kind of enjoy it, it's pretty fucking gory. His name was Jason the Documentary. Um, you know, this one could have been a lot better in my opinion. I kind of like the idea of it, you know, I like Tom Savini hosting it and stuff, but overall, it kind of fell flat in my opinion. Hit and Run, kind of like a new age, uh, well, I guess more or less like a revenge film in a way. <laughs> uh, I don't know, this one is, it was okay for what it was. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Uh, the Hitcher, classic. Rugger Hauer, amazing. Uh, the Hitcher Part 2. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but this movie may have came out after the remake. It's kind of weird. Uh, but, I gotta say, it was actually not so bad. I was expecting really shit things from this, but it wasn't overly that bad. Uh, the Hive, this is a, you know, killer ant film. It's actually, um, it's not the worst thing in the world I've ever seen, but it's not the greatest either. Killer ant movies, hit and miss, definitely. Hobo, Hobo, Broken Hollow. Hoboken Hollow. Fuck me, Jesus. Uh, this one was okay. Now, this one had its problems too, but, you know, decent enough. Hobo with a shotgun. You know, everyone knows this one. Uh, Return to Horror High. Uh, you know, again, George Clooney, an early entry from George Clooney. Uh, he's not actually in the film that long. It's not really that great. It's okay, though. Uh, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. This is actually featuring... Um, there's actually a bunch of people. I think Gunnar Hansen's in this film. Lena Quigley's in this film. Uh, I know this DVD is really hard to get. But, um, you know, it's it's actually pretty enjoyable. I did a review for this movie, like, right when I started on YouTube. Um, Homesick. Uh, this one was decent. A, a pretty good release by Synapse Films. Um, it had some pretty good kills. It's got Bill Mosley, Tishy Shepis in it, Tom Hall Towels. Uh, it's also bad. Uh, Snoop Dogg's Hood of Horror Anthology. This is a fun one. I highly recommend this. It's really, it's actually pretty good. Another French film called The Horde. Uh, zombie film. Enjoyable. I fucking hated the ending though. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, horrible. Uh, Joe D'Amato. I've reviewed this on the 81 series. It's a great film. A Horrible Way, a horrible way to Die. Uh, this movie I thought was pretty decent, man. Um, kind of brutal. Kind of brutal. So I highly recommend that one. Uh, Horror High, this is a fun early 70s film, uh, yeah, very enjoyable. Horror Hospital, yeah, released by Elite, uh, not a bad film. Horror Hotel, uh, again, you know, early, I want to see, I don't know, 1960 this movie came out in, it's not so bad. Here's another copy of Horror Hotel, of course, featuring Christopher Lee, not, too, not so bad. Horror Planet, also known as, um... Inseminoid, wow, I was totally forgetting the title there for a second. Um, you know, this movie could be better, in my opinion. I don't know. Horrors of the Black Museum. Now, this movie is another oldie. I think this movie came out in... I don't know, I think it says 1959 or something like that. It's pretty old. Um, I actually don't re really remember this one too much, so I can't really talk about it. Uh, the Host. Um, this is a Korean film, I think, or something like that. Um... Yeah, this is uh, obviously like a creature feature kind of feel deal. I thought this one was fucking pretty cool, man. Very cool film. Hostel. Everyone knows Hostel. Hostel Part 2. You know, not as good as the first one, but I still enjoy it, actually, for what it is. Hostel Part 3. Hostel Part 3, now I've heard everybody in their dog shitting on this one. I didn't think it was overly that bad. I kind of enjoyed it. It was entertaining for me, at least. Uh, house. Um, horror comedy from... 1985, love this movie. <sighs> Fuck, I can watch House all the time. House 2, a little more goofy, but still very enjoyable, fun. House of a Thousand Corpses, Rob Zombie's debut film. Uh, what can I say about this one, man? You know, I do recommend, I have this on Blu-ray, and I gotta say, it's one of the f 
best looking Blu-rays in my collection. Um, and it's actually one of the first Blu-rays ever to come out too. And surprisingly enough, but it's just fucking transfers amazing. Uh, the House of Clocks, Lucio Fulci. Now, this Lucio Fulci film, in my opinion, is really underrated. It doesn't really get talked about a lot with, of course, Fulci having so many classic films under his belt. This one has a good premise. A very cool film. Ty West, House of the Devil. Everyone knows this one. I'm a big fan of this film. I think it's great. Uh, An Amicus Studios um, anthology film, The House of Drip Blood. Now, if you like Christopher Lee and Push Peter Cushing and you like Amicus, definitely check this out. Now, this movie's a little misleading by the title. The title states that, you know, the house that dripped blood. There is absolutely no blood in this film, <laughs> which is interesting. I always found that funny. Uh, house of the Flesh Mannequins. Now, this one has a decent idea. The lead actor in this movie fucking sucked. I hated it. Uh, and it's a really, really bizarre film. And I don't know. I wasn't really a big film fan of it. It's kind of it's almost too artsy for me. There was trying to be too artsy, but I don't know. Uh, House of the Haunted Hill, classic Vincent Price. I love this movie. Everyone should have seen that film. Uh, House on Haunted Hill, the remake. Um, you know, th the problem with this movie. I thought the guy that played, you know, um, Vincent Price's character was fucking. He was really good in this film. But the problem for this one, for me at least, was the fucking casting. I mean, like Chris Kattan and like this dude. I don't know, man. It just it just doesn't work for me. Um, you know what? I have the I have the the sequel for this somewhere. I just have no idea where it is right now. <laughs> That's weird. Um, oh yeah, I guess it'd be yeah. I guess I put it in the R's return to house. Okay. Uh, this is a Code Red double feature: The House of Insane Women and The Night of a Thousand Cats. Now I haven't watched The House of, of Insane Women, but the, the Night of a Thousand Cats. Wow, is that movie ever cheesy? Uh, killer cat film. <laughs> Pretty funny shit. Pretty funny shit. The House Where Evil Dwells. Um, Susan George is in this film. Uh, Edward Albert. This is a really good fucking movie, man. I gotta say. And this one came out, I believe, in 19, 1982. So, an older one, but very cool. Uh, House of Wax. Um, this is actually, a lot of people don't even realize that this is actually a remake in itself. The original one is called uh, Mystery of the Wax Museum. Came out in 1933. Um, but yeah, this version of House of Wax is, is fantastic. I love this film. And it also has like a very young uh, Charles Bronson in the film too. He's right there. So, love me some Charles Bronson. And theoretically and technically, this is the second remake of House of Wax. You know, of course, the one with Elijah Cutbirth and Paris Hilton's awesome, amazing death in it. Uh, this movie, I've recently revisited and I kind of like it a lot more. Um, it's not as bad as people are making it out too. I think it's because it had Paris Hilton and we're kind of writing it off, but... Uh, this is like a cheapy copy of House of Whipcords, released by um, Cheesy Flicks. Uh, Pete Walker film, amazing film though. Uh, I have actually a, another edition of that movie. Uh, the Howling, um, yeah, The Howling, one of my favorite films. I, a lot of people are kind of mixed on this one, it seems like, recently, but maybe they think it over, it's overrated. I think it's amazing, uh, yeah. And the Screen Factory Blu-ray looks amazing too, actually. Uh, here's another copy of The Howling. Like I said, I'm a big fan of this movie. Uh, here's a double pack with The Howling and Howling 2. <laughs> um, the Howling 2 right here. I know I've been hearing from people this they're having problems finding this edition here. So I think it's out of print. Uh, it must be out of print. It's MGM. So. Um, the Howling 2 is a really... It's not a great remake. or It's not a great sequel, but it's fun. I love The Howling 2. It's actually really good. Uh, the Howling 3. Now, this one isn't really that great. It's still enjoyable, but, you know, I, I kind of like this franchise, so I know a lot of people fucking don't, but The Howling Part 4, it's decent. Uh, 5 and 6, um, you know, I think 4, 5, and 6 all go together, so, you know, it's kind of like their own little mini trilogy in there. Uh, I don't have Part 7 uh, yet, but uh, here's Part 8. I know we don't have a Region 1 release of it, and I just keep forgetting to grab it from... Um, the UK, so, uh, The Howling Reborn, yeah, uh, The Hunger with, uh, David Bowie and Susan Sarandon, uh, this is a very interesting film, um, I gotta say, I really enjoy this one, I wish David Bowie was in the film more, but, yeah, it is what it is, Hunger, uh, this was a decent Fangori Fright Fest film, wasn't the greatest, but it was decent, uh, The Hunt, um, I have still yet to watch this one, my bad, not seen that one yet, uh, hyperthermia this movie oh my god um has a decent premise 
Uh, but it's a dude in a fucking rubber suit that kind of kills it for me. And uh, I don't know, man. The cover art's the best thing about this one. I Am Virgin. Uh, this was also released by... Oh, I thought it was released by Cheesy Flicks. But um, yeah, I don't know. This one was decent. I actually had fun with this movie. It's low budget shit, but it was okay. Uh, I Bury the Living with Richard Boone. This is a good movie, man. I, I fucking really enjoy this one. Another, one of these midnight movies releases uh, from 1957. Um, very cool film. Highly, highly recommend that one. Uh, I Saw the Devil. What can I say about this one? This is one of my favorite films of the last few years. I love this movie. It's awesome. I Spit on Your Grave, the original. Everyone knows this one. I Spit on Your Grave remake, which I did enjoy. I thought, I thought the kills were fucking nasty in this film. Which pretty much made it enjoyable to watch. Uh, Ice Cream Man with, uh, um, holy shit, what, what, Clint Howard. Oh my god, my brain is just not working right now. I keep forgetting. Uh, you know, Clint Howard plays an ice cream man, and I love this movie. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's great fun. Uh, Itchy the Killer. This is the blood bag edition, which has no blood left in it. I don't think anyone's has blood left in it. Uh, Itchy the Killer. Um, Mickey. Uh, Takashi Miike, um, what can I say? It's a great movie. The horror comedy Idle Hands. Now, this movie fucking makes me laugh so hard. I love it. I think it's great. It's got some funny-ass parts in it. Uh, Identity, kind of an underrated film, you know, John Cusack, Reed Liotta. This movie really did surprise me. I didn't expect anything from it. Kind of liked it. I know what you did last summer. I'm not a fan of this movie. I've come to realize I think this is pretty shitty. Uh, I still know what you did last summer. Even worse... Uh, I Madman, very, very fucking cool premise and film. I love this movie. If you've never seen this one, I highly recommend it. Uh, I Spill Your Guts, this is a James Balsam Ammo film. Um, you know, I didn't mind this film. Uh, you know, there is parts of it that are kind of whatever. Um, I've heard that people don't really like the uh, editing on it, but, you know, it, overall it wasn't decent. It was, it was decent at best. <laughs> Uh, I piss on your corpse. I spit on your corpse. I piss on your grave. I reviewed this also when I was on the fright tube. Uh, this was could have been a lot better. Now there was some really fucking nasty parts. It's pretty extreme towards the end and shit. But overall, it kind of falls flat. I think I think the story wasn't kind of developed or kind of, could have been told a little better in my opinion. Uh, in the mouth of madness, one of my favorite John Carpenter films. Shit, I love this movie. Um, I know this is coming to Blu-ray, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, double, an Anchor Bay drive-in double feature of the Initiation and Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Now, I have a single copy of uh, Mount, Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Um, I never picked one up at the Initiation, but I love both these films, actually. They're really fun. Um, yeah. Inland Empire, David Lynch. This is one of the weirdest fucking movies ever. Laura Dern, Jeremy Irons. Oh, wow, this is a weird one. Um... And it's got some really damn creepy parts, and I gotta say, really fucking creepy parts. So, um, yeah, uh, it's long though; it's like three hours. So, Inside French film, awesome, great gore, fucking amazing. Love that movie. Insidious. Uh, I'm a fan of Insidious. I thought it was pretty well done. I saw it at the cinema, and really enjoyed it actually for what it was. Um, I don't know. I thought it was okay. Kind of looking forward to the second one. Into the Damned, decent film, really really shit transfer. Uh, Innocent Blood, horror comedy once again um, from John Landis. Not a bad film. I don't really hear many people talk about this one. Uh, Insecticidal. This is a really, really fucking bad, bad like insect killer film. It's just so the the the, the insects look terrible in this film. Just it's horrible. Uh, Inseminoid. Yeah, there we go. I had Horror Planet just before. Um, you know, like I said, not my favorite. Interview with the Vampire. This is a really actually decent modern day kind of vampire film written by Anne Rice. Um, good film. Invasion of the Body Snatchers from 1978. My favorite version out of all of them. Uh, Donald Sutherland, classic film. Irreversible, a, another French film. Uh, fuck, I love French films. This is uh, fucking brutal. It's got one of the nastiest rape scenes ever. Uh, Island of the Dead. Uh, shit, shit, shit. Fucking movie with Malcolm McDowell. Horrible in most F. It's horrible. Island of Death, I believe this was a video nasty. This is the Arrow release. Uh, this is a good film. Um, it's got some fucked up parts in it, but highly enjoyable. Isolation, I recommend it. Pretty good film. Sorry, I'm just kind of ripped through this. I just realized how long this is going on. Uh, Stephen King's It. Um, 
you know, it's a good movie. What can I say? It's Alive. This is actually the trilogy by uh, Larry Cohen. Uh, they're all fun films, man. I like them. It Happened at Nightmare Inn. Uh, you know, not a bad film, I gotta say. It's My Party and I'll Die If I Want To. I love this movie. <laughs> it's great low budget uh, slasher type shit. Pretty cool. It Waits, uh, not a bad film. Um, I don't know when the, this one came out. Yeah, this is like mid 2000s kind of deal. Uh, Jack Brooks, Monster Slayer, horror comedy. Very enjoyable. Uh, Jack Frost, just cheesy, cheesy killer snowman film, but enjoyable. Uh, I do have Jack, Jack Frost 2, it's just not in here. Uh, Jack O' Lantern, this is pretty bad actually. Uh, Jacob's Ladder, fucking amazing film. I love the way this shit is just developed. I love the structure of this film. Uh, Jaws 1, classic. Jaws 2, I actually watched this recently. It's okay. Uh, Jaws 3, I've never been a really big fan of this movie. But for some weird reason, I don't know. I just, I kind of always think that I like it though. It's weird. Um, I have Jaws 4. Once again, it's not in the collection here. Uh, the Jackhammer Massacre. This movie's fucking... It's it's okay. It's just low, low, low budget shit, but it's decent. It's better than some movies with Massacre in the title. Uh, Jacko, a terrible film, but kind of enjoyable. The kid in this movie was super fucking annoying. Uh, Jason Goes to Hell, not my favorite in the franchise, but it's growing on me. Uh, Jason 10, um, just a horrible film. Uh, Jeepers Creepers, first one, uh, very enjoyable film. Too bad the director's a fucking creep. <laughs> No pun intended. Um, and Jeepers Creepers Part 2, which is still enjoyable. Uh, I wish someday there would be actually a third one, but you know how it is. Anyways, I'm sorry for the long-ass video once again. Holy shit, this is like 22 minutes. So I will get out of here. Moon616 signing off. Thank you for watching and subscribing as usual. Peace out, homies.